Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this month, for the month of October, we are talking about the Alfred Hitchcock movies that are in the 501 Must See Movies. We've made it all the way through the seven that I've seen. <laughs> and we've made it all the way to Vertigo. When I hear Vertigo, the first thing that pops to my head is Arrested Development and Lucille too, and how she has vertigo. She's played by Liza Minnelli. That has absolutely nothing to do with this movie, but I just wanted to throw it in there because that's what I hear every time I hear the word vertigo. But now I'm gonna think about this Alfred Hitchcock film too, because it is amazing. Like I have mentioned to you guys how I sniff out twists and I did not see this one coming. I don't even wanna talk about it because it is so mind blowing. I, I was so impressed. I saw nothing like this coming. It was so cool. This movie has been in contention to be the number one movie of all time. There are uh, certain lists that sometimes have Citizen Kane as number one and certain lists that sometimes have Vertigo as number one. Now Citizen Kane is in this book, but I haven't watched it yet. So right now I would say Vertigo is the best movie of all time, but check back with me after I watch Citizen Kane. So Vertigo again stars James Stewart, who is the same male actor that is starring in Rear Window with Grace Kelly. And I think part of the reason why I put Vertigo and Rear Window as number one and two is James Stewart's acting skills. I've never seen a movie with him before and he blew me away in both movies. And as I've mentioned, Alfred Hitchcock has a lot of scenes that are very long with absolutely no dialogue. So you're just following the character, you're looking at scenery, camera angles, you're looking at the character's facial expressions, the story is being told through the music and through the visuals, and the fact that James Stewart does such an amazing job of his physical acting and using every single body part and everything, everything comes through his face and through his emotions is really, really impressive. And it's just, it's something that really, really impressed me. Immediately, I recognized the city of San Francisco because I have been to San Francisco. And if anyone, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but when I have been to a city and I see a movie set in that city, I immediately am like, yes, I've been to that city. And I get this like happy feeling that I know where they are. And so what, <laughs> that was a tangent. So James Stewart plays an ex-cop who is having vertigo issues. So he was on a case, he was on a rooftop, something triggered him, he had a spell of vertigo and now he's been forced into retirement. So he has an old friend that looks him up and asks him to do some private eye work following his wife. Same symbol, except that his wife is seemingly possessed by an old spirit and it's I don't know I don't know how to say anything without giving it away so I'll just leave it at that it's it's an ex-cop he suffers from, he suffers from vertigo he is following his friend's wife who we think is possessed by a ghost and then things happen from there we I can't say anymore you have to watch it it's so good. It's it's definitely up there as number the, as one of the top movies of all time for a reason. As I mentioned, it totally I had no idea what was happening. In my notes, I was writing about this like mess up relationship, and I just I just can't say it anymore. It's number one. I haven't seen Rebecca yet, so again, I have. Um, there's eight movies in the book. I've seen seven of them. Number seven is The Birds. Number six is To Catch a Thief, number five is Strangers on a Train, number four is North by Northwest, number three is Psycho, number two is Rear Window, and number one is Vertigo, and wherever Rebecca fits in there, I will watch Rebecca and let you know my thoughts and how I feel about it, but I have a hard time believing that it's gonna dethrone Vertigo, because it just, it's crazy, it's crazy what happens and the camera work and the scenery and the physical acting and there's, Alfred Hitchcock is a genius. I'm so happy I watched Rear Window first and I'm so happy I watched all of these movies 
but I am most happy that I got to watch Vertigo. So if you want to continue on hearing about movies from this book, it's Nicole's Notions, subscribe to my channel, hit the no notification bell, and I look forward to going through this journey with you for the next several weeks.